Hey, what is up guys? This is uh, FNH here and today I am back with a brand new video on how to speed up Firefox. Alright, so if you guys have noticed that I do have a previous version, 2019, how to speed up Firefox. But, you know, in 2020, there's a lot of new features in Firefox and a lot of new different ways to speed up your browser. Okay, so I do have a Chrome video similar to this. So if you guys have Chrome and want to speed up that, make sure to check out that video. But if you are looking for Firefox, then stay tuned and I will teach you guys basically all the steps you need to take to speed up your Firefox browser. All right, so this is the basically the brand new improved version, the latest version that you will probably find online on how to uh, speed it up. All right, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, the first thing what you want to do is go to Firefox and go to about colon config. Okay, you want to go here and then it will open up a screen saying proceed with caution, changing uh, advanced configuration can impact performance and security. All right, so you know you just want to um, accept the risk and continue. All right, now you have here you can if you do show all, you'll basically see all these over here. And what the one you want to look for is called browser, b r o w s e r tabs remote auto start. Okay, so I do have this to true, and what you want to do is right click it or just double press it and make it into false. Okay, um, or you can press it well, double press it, or you can press this toggle button, same thing. Um, or and you know, one way you can tell that it has been changed is that it is bold, right? So you can see this over here, this is bolded, and you know, you can always um, reset to whatever the default value was. Okay, so that's one of the ways the first thing you know, um, you can do. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to let's just go to preferences right about preferences and basically you can find this from the drop down over here right and from there you can click options alright so we are here and what we want to go is go down to the performance section right and we want to uncheck use recommended performance settings right and we want to check use hardware acceleration right and a is basically the highest and that is the default for me right um, and you want to make it whatever the highest value is and you want to keep it here so basically what this what basically what this is 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 um, it increases the number of processes that your browser will use or run on right um, you know, um, it is, it, when you do recommend it, it could vary from 1 to 8. So, you know, we always want to keep it to 8. That's why we want to uh, use this. I believe in the past the highest was 7. And, you know, the latest version, uh, Firefox Quantum, I believe they bumped it up to 8. So, you know, you can do the highest, but if you do start experiencing your browser's that it starts crashing you know just make it lower and lower until you find a stable um, settings for it all right the that's number two the next thing is you know um, so there's a few things that I will mention that you might need to download a plugin for right um, but I'm not going to show you that specifically in this video I'll just mention it but you know in another video I'll go more in detail on specific plugins that you should have to um, enhance your browser alright so the first plugin is that you want to get a plugin called yet another smooth scrolling right Y A S S right it basically um, speeds up your scrolling and you know when you have a long page and you're scrolling it you want to scroll all the way to the bottom it takes you know take some time so that just basically helps you scroll all the way down a lot quicker uh, the next thing is called auto tab discarding that's another plugin you guys can get or I should say extension you guys can get and basically that it just 
um, it's a little small add-on, right? Um, it lets you set up rules to automatically discard uh, tabs that you leave open, right? So if you, you know, eventually your browser, you know, becomes full with tabs that you probably don't even use. So this is just some like a small rule that you can create that makes it uh, disabled. All right. So those were the two plugins that or extensions that I recommend. Uh, I will go more in detail in another video. All right. So the next thing what we want to do is go. We want to stay in um, our options, right? But we want to go to privacy and security. All right. So over here, what we want to do is look for is ex prevent accessibility service services from accessing your browser so you want to have that checked um, I do not want to restart Firefox right now because I have a few other tabs open that I needed but basically you want to keep this checked and uh, basically this will just um, you know if you don't use the accessibility services um, you know it's kind of a use uh, it's kind of useless to have it on your browser but you know if you need it then obviously don't uh, disable this so accessibility services are just different things that your browser um, can do to help you basically if you have some sort of disability you know um, it could help you over or you know still navigate through the browser with that difficult with that disability but you know if you don't need most people don't need it um, it's still included in the browser but you can disable it from over here all right um, another, the next thing is that you can run Firefox in ro low resolution mode, right? Um, but I believe this is only for Mac users. So if you are using Firefox on a Mac, uh, you should be able to, you know, open it in low resolution uh, mode. All right. So I'm using Windows, so I can't show you that. But you know, if you guys are into, you know, looking more into it, make sure to definitely. Uh, yeah, check it out definitely uh, you know you can basically just google it and see all right and the next thing we want to do is toggle tracking protection okay so tracking protection I'm not oh, so basically this is it yeah <laughs> So it's under privacy and security, same place where we were. And we want to, one thing is set this to always, send a websites, do not track signal. So this is, I guess, more security related than um, performance, but you know, you can have that selected. And then you want to basically see um, these options over here, okay? So I have it at standard you know some people like it more strict right and you know if you want it somewhere in between you can have it uh, custom okay and the other thing for custom is that you can set it for in all windows or only private windows okay so it, it wouldn't affect your daily thing if you just do private windows all right so that's the next thing and basically the last well not almost la well almost last um i would say the next thing is you can disable firefox animations okay so let's go back to config right and we want to just basically search animate right uh, and we want to fi find image dot mem dot animated dot discardable okay and we want to make sure this is set to false I already have this change made and you can see that it has been changed because it is bold alright so if you want if I wanted to re return it to what it was before it's just basically you know there's a revert button on the right but basically but this is what I want okay so it's set to false I'll keep it at that alright so the next thing we can go to is what is it? Let's go to about colon memory. All right. So over here we want we want to, um, you know, you guys can click free memory for garbage collection, right? And CC is a cycle collection, global garbage garbage collection, um, and then you know you you want to click these three buttons. 
right and they should help with the memory and whatever memory existing that you have it should clear it up and you know you'll basically start from scratch all right the last thing is you know if everything all of this fails um you know there's either one of two options one being there's a virus on your computer some kind of malware or adware that's slowing down the performance of your browser so you you know you want to use some other tool to you know just make sure you don't have anything on your browser but aside from that we can go to um, about and let's go to support right and over here we can see our browser right and f over here we want to basically then do refresh Firefox okay so this basically will just delete everything you have in Firefox right um, it, it won't delete personal data like browser history password cookies bookmarks or autofills right but it, it basically will set your whole browser to whatever default settings there was you know wh um, when you first installed it so you know that should work um, if that still doesn't work then um, most likely you just have something wrong with your computer and that is another issue not related to Firefox so yeah that's basically it let me know what you guys think if you have any question or comments please leave them down in the description below um, if you like this video make sure to like it if you have chrome check out my chrome video i do have that up um, or it will be up soon um, so yeah um, let me know what you guys thoughts are question comments please leave them down below uh, if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time